I am free and that is why I am lost. The meaning of life is that it stops. A first sign of the beginning of understanding is the wish to die. I cannot make you understand. I cannot make anyone understand what is happening inside me. I cannot even explain it to myself. Youth is happy because it has the capacity to see beauty. Anyone who keeps the ability to see beauty never grows old. All language is but a poor translation. Slept, awoke, slept, awoke, miserable life. I have the true feeling of myself only when I am unbearably unhappy. It's only because of their stupidity that they're able to be so sure of themselves. He is terribly afraid of dying because he hasn't yet lived. I have spent all my life resisting the desire to end it. I usually solve problems by letting them devour me. I do not speak as I think, I do not think as I should, and so it all goes on in helpless darkness. Beyond a certain point there is no return. This point has to be reached. First impressions are always unreliable. Written kisses don't reach their destination. Rather they are drunk on the way by the ghosts. You are the knife I turn inside myself that is love. That, my dear, is love. Just think how many thoughts a blanket smothers while one lies alone in bed, and how many unhappy dreams it keeps warm. How about if I sleep a little bit longer and forget all this nonsense? My guiding principle is this, guilt is never to be doubted. Logic may indeed be unshakable, but it cannot withstand a man who is determined to live. Anyone who keeps the ability to see beauty never grows old. For myself I am too heavy, and for you too light. I'm doing badly, I'm doing well, whichever you prefer.
You can choose to be free, but it's last decision you'll ever make. Forget everything. Open the windows. Clear the room. The wind blows through it. You see only its emptiness, you search in every corner and don't find yourself. He was a tool of the boss, without brains or backbone. I'm thinking only of my illness and my health, though both, the first as well as the second, are you? Nothing unites two people so completely, especially if, like you and me, all they have is words. If I could drown in sleep as I drown in fear I would be no longer alive. I'll act nothing. I only needed myself. I do not read advertisements. I would spend all of my time nanting things. Even the merest gesture is holy if it is filled with faith. So eager are our people to obliterate the present. You misinterpret everything, even the silence. I can love only what I can place so high above me that I cannot reach it. I only fear danger where I want to fear it. It is not necessary to accept everything as true, one must only accept it as necessary.